Hello everyone. In earlier session we have discussed about options under register and integration setup. Now we will see period mapping. This is nothing but month and year dimension mapping and category mapping is scenario dimension mapping. Let's select period mapping. As you see here first column is period key, prior period key, period name, target period month, year target. Period key starts from the application start year. We know that our application has a start date of 2019 or FI19. So the first key is January 31st, 2019. Prior period key is 12-31-2018. So this is January data. Similarly, Feb 28, 2019 period key is mapped to a target period month of Feb and year target is FI19. All the other years are defined in the global mapping. Click application mapping and under the application select target application which we have mapped here our financial planning application and add a key. Click add. I have already added January key. Let's add Feb key now. Select Feb 21 here because January is already added. It's not appearing here. Let me select Feb 21 now and period key is added prior period key, period name. These three fields automatically appear here and we know that this belongs to Feb month and target period year is FY21 and you can also enter in the year target as FY21. Click save. Next is category mapping. This is global mapping and by default system adds current category. I have added actual and it's a monthly frequency we are going to load monthly and target category is OEP underscore actual and once you define here under global mapping click application mapping and click add and in the drop down select the category we have added in global and click the search button to figure out the exact member name in your application I have already added the category as ACT ACT is a category mapped to OEP underscore actual. So the primary purpose of data management is to integrate the source system and target systems. If the file is in the required format, we can as well import the file from planning directly. If the source and target member names are different, for example, cost center C00 is in the source system. In the target system, if you have C underscore 00, now you need to map that in the data management. Let's see how to map that. Click workflow and select data load mapping. All dimensions appear here. Even the other cubes dimensions also appear. I am selecting account dimension and you see five tabs here. All mappings explicit between in multi-dimension like all mappings tab shows all the mappings defined in the remaining five tabs here. Let's go to explicit mapping. So if I want to add a source system account A4010 maybe source value. Target value let's say we might have product revenue. So this way if the account numbers mismatch is there between the source and target you can click in the workflow data load mapping under the dimension you can add this and this is explicit mapping one on one you are entering source value and you are entering target value between mapping if i know any account that is between 4000 and 4100 in the source system these are called product revenue in the target system so you can add that here source value so a4000 to a4100 then you can add your target value here and there is a change sign option for example in ERP systems revenue is recorded as credit minus debit which has a negative sign before and you want to change that sign when loading into planning you can do that by clicking this checkbox. Even explicit tab also has that change sign symbol. Now next select in 
if the source value is has a multiple option maybe it's not a defined range let's say 4001 some 4007 different accounts which are not in a continuous range in that case you can select in option but always target value will be only one account let me show you how multi dimension works product is webcams and account is 4001 this is called webcams revenue or product revenue if the product member is service and the account number is 4001 then the revenue is called service revenue it's a multi dimension the account is same but based on the product your target account is changing this is where you need multi dimensional mapping next tab is like where you can add source value as a star target value as a star rule name is a star meaning whatever source just exactly map it to the target that means source and target systems have same naming convention in that case you can go for like so when an account is defined in explicit and between also explicit takes the precedence and like has the last precedence so now in the all mappings all these mappings appear now i have added only like mapping so only one map appears here similarly finish the mappings for other required dimensions i have done all like mappings here and even for entity currency all dimensions need to be mapped here this is under data load mapping in workflow tab in this session we have seen how to do data load mapping for all dimensions thank you for watching we'll see you in next session